שבוע טוב, על גוזבך, על גמר חסימה טובה. As we prepare for Yom Kippur, in just a couple of days, I wanted to share a true story that took place with the Alter Rebbe, the first Rebbe of Chabad. It was Kol Nidre night. Everyone was in shul, dressed in white, preparing for the serious, the awesome prayer of Kol Nidre, reciting chapters of Tehillim, and all of a sudden, the Alter Rebbe took off his, his talis and his kittel, and he left the shul. No one had the nerve to follow him to see where he's going at this time, but they assumed he would be back shortly. Quite some time went by until the Rebbe finally returned. And that's when it was discovered, where had he gone? The Alter Rebbe had sensed that in the outskirts of the city of Lubavitch, there was a woman who was a kimpeter. She had just given birth to a child, to a baby. And she was alone in the home with the little baby while her husband and other children had gone to services. She was alone, she was weak, she was cold, she was hungry, and somehow her state and situation had not been appreciated or noticed by members of her family. The Alter Rebbe somehow sensed her distress and therefore he took off his Yom Tif dress, his talus and his kittel, left the shul moments before Kalindri was meant to begin, went to her house, on Yom Kippur already by now, chopped some wood, built a fire, cooked some soup, tended to her and to the baby till things were under control, and then he returned to the shul to allow the beginning of the Kalindri service. The Rebbe shared the story with us and said this was kept secret for a long time, it was not publicized, but the Rebbe did publicize it to illustrate the great importance of loving and caring for another person, feeling their distress and going out of yourself to help them. As we stand before Yom Kippur, we should certainly try to go out of our way to help another person, and surely in that merit, Hashem will help us and inscribe us and all of ours for a good, sweet year of revealed good. Have a great year and an easy fast.